is not a place where you never grow up. It is truly the crossroads of life. And that is the place where you never give up. Neverland is such a popular story with all the different takes uh, and all the different versions of the legend of Peter Pan. But in this particular story, we wanted to focus on what happens before the legend. What makes Captain Hook a villain? What happened before Peter Pan ever came along? How did Neverland come to exist? A lot of the play is about finding your, your own path and, and following what you love and taking the reins like Captain Hook does. I think that's what's so inspiring about this play. You have to find your own passion and fight for it. It's not going to happen unless you really try to pursue it. Celebrate the crossroads on the birth of a new day. Bridge across tomorrows. Summer Institute for the Arts is five years old this summer. We have been working with students between the ages of seven and 107. Ordinarily a project like this would take years to develop, but in two weeks we have to costume a uh, hundred people on stage. Professionals who know about lighting and professionals who know about sound and when you're miking 84 people. 84 kids, we have 84 kids involved in camp this year, not counting youth volunteers. Adults and teens. Interns and volunteer artists. And tweens and young ones all working together. The community benefits by having original theatrical work being done from its own dirt and being grown into its own garden. I think a community succeeds when their members get involved. We pull everyone from every demographic and from every walk of life to be a part of it. And that's what theater does. The ideas of, of our community being woven together into the fabric of what colors our lives. And that enriches all of us, it inspires us, and it provides us with a sense of unity. There's always a struggle to keep arts programs running because there are always people who will tell you why that won't work, why that might not work, why that probably won't work, why that should never have worked. Our funds get taken away from us. We are always trying to fight for the arts in our communities as well. It's very, very difficult to help people understand how much the arts means to the youth and how it enhances our lives. Here you will find a library. A library. A library. A library. A library. Of choices. A place <laughs> of possibility. Through the arts, students gain the insight and they gain opportunity to explore all of the possibilities. In life, we're given options. And our options are A, B, and C. In Neverland, the options are A, B, C, one, two, three, mm -hmm. green, yellow, purple. There's no limitation in Neverland. And I think that's what we need more in our schools, in our lives, to help our children dream. The ideal is to have a theater company that creates original work with the people who live, breathe, and eat all in the same community. Because we have this opportunity, it'll enlighten people to know that the life we have can take us on many different courses, and we can make different choices and keep choosing again. And that's what we ask them to do, is keep choosing with Neverland.